I asked if someone could record me. I just want to get a recording of me going through this. No, I can't. Oh, I asked. I asked the supervisor. He said I could ask a, a passenger. Is that okay? Yeah. Millimeter wave and backscatter imaging devices were implemented as a security measure by the TSA and Homeland Security. They caused quite a furor back in 2008 when they were introduced. What do these scanners do? They help TSA agents see what's beneath your clothes to make sure you aren't carrying something you shouldn't be. Millimeter wave is a subset of microwave radio frequency, but where antennas transmit these waves as they rotate around the body. The wave energy then is reflected from the body and the information is used to construct a 3D image shown on the screen. Pretty much all these millimeter wave scanners have what we call automatic target recognition. And in these, the generic outline of the body uh, replaces the picture of a nude body. Backscatter machines use x-rays, which are a form of ionizing radiation. In other words, this radiation can create particles in your body that can break bonds in your DNA and cause cancer. But the amount in these scanners is so low. People say the most concerning part is actually the ability to see too much detail. With the millimeter wave scanners, ionizing radiation is not used. Non-ionizing radiation could potentially lead to thermal injuries. Now the levels used in these wave scanners are obviously so low that the chances are that they do not have the capability to cause such damage. How much radiation are we talking about? Well, consider the unit, the sievert, which is a measure of the health effect of low levels of ionizing radiation on the human body. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, the safety health limit is 50,000 microsieverts every year. Now compare that to a six hour flight where you're only receiving 20 microsieverts. And then again, compare that to what you will receive if you were to go through this backscatter scan, you will only receive 0.05 microsieverts to 0.09 microsieverts. And don't forget, at the end of the day, everybody gets some radiation. So as seen in the pie chart on the left, 50% is made of natural sources of radiation, and on the right, 50% is from man-made sources of radiation. So in the natural sources of radiation, most of it is from radon and thoron. Whereas in the man-made sources, most of it comes from medical procedures. Don't forget to subscribe.